Hi everyone, I've got a haul video um, today, to, so I've got a haul to share with you. I received the parcel a couple of hours ago and I've waited really patiently to open it. Um, I had my cleaning to do, so I've done all my cleaning I thought as a treat. Once I'd finished my cleaning, I would open up the box and have a look at everything that's inside. So yeah, it was from Crafter's Companion and I bought the show and I don't do that sort of thing like ever. But I got an email with a 50% off of voucher because I hadn't shopped with them for ages. And the voucher said it was 50% off a single item, but I thought, I wonder if that counts on like bundles um, because it's still, you know, a single item on the site. So I thought I'd have a look and I've wanted some Violet Studio products for ages. And I was looking at the different like bundles that they do and it just seemed like the best sense to buy the show if I could use the 50% off voucher. So I thought I'd give it a go and put the code in and it worked. So I got the entire show, which was already sort of, they do like offers um so it was already discounted a little bit and then i got like a silver membership so you get i think five percent off the total as well and then with the 50 percent um i think it was originally 135 pounds and i got it for 60 pounds and there's so much i mean the box is so heavy there's going to be so much stuff in here um so i'm just going to open it and show you just opening the box now So whether I'll keep all this stuff, I don't know. Um, I might uh, gift some of it, use some of it in Happy Mail. Maybe I'll even sell some of it on that I'm not going to use. But for the price I paid, I thought it's totally worth it. Oh, I like, so the buttons, here's some buttons. And they're flat. Which actually, that was a project, project, like a spinning card. And it requires you to use flat buttons and I haven't got any. So these will be perfect for that. And they're lovely pastel colours okay and then you've got the brights as well so there's that and then you've got so mini tags and there's two packs of mini tags as well then there's a wax seal kit and it's got a flamingo and a leaf in it and i was looking to oh actually that's really good as well they're the screw on ones because i was looking for some different ones because i want some christmas ones um so that's perfect so i know where i can get screw on ones to go on that okay then there's a pack of 28 card toppers i've already got some of these um i got them in another bundle that i bought on ebay a while back um but yeah they'll definitely come in handy as well embellishments always do then there's a pack of bright palms and this is the card toppers for the baby collection. Um, these are the sort of ones that I don't very often know when, like, know people that are having babies. So I don't know whether I'll necessarily keep these ones. Oh, I wonder if there was a picture of the toppers on the back of that one as well. There was, so I'll show you those as well. So yeah, I don't necessarily know where, whether I'll keep them. Although there's a few in there that I could use that that wouldn't have to be used for babies. So. Um, I might keep those, I might make a bundle and sell them or gift them, don't know. Oh, um, I also just want to apologise for my nails. I put some blue nail varnish on uh, with glitter in it and it won't come off. I've tried everything and like there's still like last little bits and it's like stained my nails blue. So they look really horrible. There's some more pums in pastels. And you got, I've got pack of the tropical stickers and then I don't know what what collection the other ones are from doesn't say I don't think so there's two packs of stickers there and they're good for envelope sealing and we've got um, some notepads uh, yes. um, three A5 notepads and they're 64 sheets each and you've got a bullet journal type one and you've got a grid type one and then you've got a lined one. Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep those because I, um, I'm not necessarily going to use them. They'll probably just sit around. I can't get the band, the, the band back on so I'm just going to put that to one side for now. Put the paper pads to 
there's another three notebooks and rather than open those ones I'll just show you the designs there and some tassels and there's another wax seal kit this one's got a birthday present and a hat What else have we got in here? Okay, I've just set an alarm for three o'clock so I don't forget to go and pick up my little girl. So some more tassels. Okay. And then we know on to sort of the compendiums and the pads. Well, I'm not sure about that one, maybe. But I'll put that one to one side for now. And the baby one again. There's still papers in here that I would use, so I'm not sure yet. I might keep that. I don't know. Um but if I'm going to gift them or sell them, I don't really want to be opening the seals. Um, so with that one, you've also got um, the 12 by 12s. So they're the same, basically. You've got the 12 by 12s in both of those as well. So yeah, I'm not going to open those ones because I'm not sure yet. They're Positivity and Baby. But I think I'll keep this one. Um and this one and i'm running out of space <laughs> but, okay let's have a look i need something to open them with nicely okay so see i always find these stickers that if you try and peel them back they just well, they don't do they they just rip they're a pain you'd think that they come up with something better really so that it didn't ruin your pads i hate that when it rips your covers this one's coming off quite nicely actually but yeah i hate when it rips your covers so it'll definitely rip the background it i just like it to look nice and i just don't think it looks very nice when you have to rip it Makes me feel sad. Okay. So. Loads of lovely bright ones. I always love yellow dotty papers. Any sort of spotty papers, really. I love. I really like the stars as well. They would have been good for a card I made for my niece's birthday, actually. Okay. Let's have a look at what else we've got. So there is the Hello Baby card making kit. And again, I'm just going to show you what's in this one because I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it. The poms are cute though. The pom-poms are cute. And there is some toying in there. I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> but this one I'll probably keep though. Um, so this is... The floral, I think it's just called the floral card making kit. Right, so we can crack this one open. Have a little look. Right. So. so you got some embellishments and some ribbon. Look at these. Uh, so I think they're stick. Are they stickers? Yeah, they're stick. Yeah, they're stickers, but they're kind of look like, really thick, more like card stickers. Um. So yeah, oh. I hate making sentiments for cards. I really do. Um. It's something that I've got on a list of things to do. It's kind of like just make a load of sentiments because it just. I really struggle with them. So if I can get anything like that, that I can use, um, as a sentiment, then I do. So then this has got loads of little bits in it. So it's got like um, a very cocoa vanilla, um, cocoa vanilla and pink fresh studio feel about it, I think. I love all these. All these die cuts are just going to come in just amazingly for me. It looks so handy. So yeah, I'm pleased with this. So yeah, this one I really like. Um, and I think I'll just show you the 6 by 6s because we've got the 6 by 6s and the 12 by 12s and they're pretty much the same, aren't they? 
Um, oh, I love that they've got those in there. So hopefully they're a bit bigger in the 12 by 12. There might be different designs, I'm not sure. I have a little sneak looking. Just oh yeah, look, they're massive. So that's good. You could do a whole card with that. So that's that one. Got no room. Let's do a quick flick through of the uh, the twelve by twelves then, actually, because that's probably an easier way to do it. most of these I'm going to keep. I saw those designs, I'm not sure about the big massive designs because I'm not really sure what you could do with such a big design if you can't cut it up, but I mean I'm sure I'll think of something. But yeah, I love all the florals. Yeah, they definitely remind me of like cocoa, vanilla and some fresh. Uh, we did the smaller pad of this, didn't we? I'll just quickly fruit through. I can always slow it down. If I do a quick flip through of the baby one, it's going much quicker than I anticipated. I do really, I mean, it is really cute, but I just, I don't know if I'd use it. I don't know anybody who's having any babies and to keep an entire collection. I do quite like this one, actually. I'll probably keep this one. <laughs> okay and then it's just the six by six I've done the flip throughs of those I'm back uh, I'll pick my little girl up from school so she's got some biscuits now and a tablet so she's happy although you might be able to hear YouTube in the background because it's really really loud and her headphones have stopped working so they're just charging um, so yeah it was just near the craft compendium that we've got left to look at so the, the card ultimate card making kit so I'm just going to open this and I'll know I'll definitely be keeping this. Okay, so here we go. So foam pads um, and frames, gold frames, which I will probably use to make shakers because, you know, I love a good shaker card. Loads of uh, bows. A noisy aeroplane, some buttons, oh, it's all, these little glue dots are hard to get off so you've got some embellishments and some ribbons. Okay so then you've got card packs and I think from what I remember from the Crafters Companion video, the live video, you've got all different colours. So you've got craft cards, blue cards and green cards there and the insides are also the same colour. Okay, right then, so those are all the envelopes and that's more coloured cards. So you've got pinks in there, reds or well, reddy orange, burnt orange colours and greens. Okay, and then you've got... Oh, oh. <laughs> And then you've got this pack, and I think that this has got papers in it, and oh, it's all sticking to my paper there. Let's open it up. I've made a right mess with all this stuff. Okay, here we go. So you've got foil stickers, and you've got gold and silver there. Shiny. And then there's some black ones. And then more of what I love, her die cuts. So, I mean, my day of sentiment making, I may not need to do it anymore because I think that these will suit most cards. You've got loads there. You've got spring ones, you've got Christmas ones, you've got more baby ones, um, best wishes. I wonder if there's any, but yeah, there's birthday ones there. So that's two of that one. 
I love these. This is perfect. I just, I don't know, I just can't get on with making sentiments for cards. It just annoys me for some reason. I love making cards, but, um, I mean, I just, I don't know, they're just underwhelming to me. Like, I made this for my niece. And as much as I love the card, I do. I just, they're just boring, you know? So I suppose that's on me, really, to make it more interesting, but I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, we've got happy birthday, congratulations, special someone, get well soon. So it looks like pretty much any occasion that you need um, a sentiment for, you've got there. Okay, more birthday ones, celebrate. And of course, these can be used as tags for sentiments, I suppose. So it's just a bit of a mixture. And look, Christmas ones, hooray. Because I know they're bringing out a Christmas collection. And these look very similar to the collection from what I've seen, like the pictures I've seen on Instagram and um, Facebook so far. These look very similar. And they eat, there's Easter ones. They've got literally everything in this pack. So I love this. And there's more of those dotty cards. That's the same one, isn't it? So we've got single-sided cards or paper. Um, and we've got yellows and we've got the dotty. So this is very similar to one of the paper pads. But A4 which is fine by me. It'll all get used of it. Well, I say it'll all get used. I've got more paper than, I don't know. <laughs> I've got a lot of paper pads. More than anybody could ever need, that's for sure. Stars. They'd be perfect for Christmas cards. I love that. And even the pink ones you could do, like pink Christmas cards. Oh, I'm a fan of pink Christmas cards, to be fair. Feels really nice as well, the texture of the paper. There's quite a few Christmassy ones in here, which I like because those aren't in any of the pads. Whereas a few of these are, like, again, you can see these are from the pads as well, but. At least there's quite a few in there as well that actually aren't in the paper pads. But it's probably just a preview of what's going to be coming in the Christmas collection, which, of course, I'm going to want now. Okay, so, um, I mean, I'm super pleased with all of this. It is so much stuff. This is just the compendium, the, the ultimate card making bundle. This is just this. I'll try and put these back in there. So I'm going to put all this back in the box. Just to quickly summarise. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six, 12 by 12s, and one, two, three, four. Five. Now I've got five six by sixes there, but I think there's another one somewhere. I've lost it. Okay, now pass. Two lots of the card toppers, the buttons, more buttons, two wax stamps, two boxes of pom poms. Baby card making kit, two packs of stickers, the baby toppers, there's the other paper pad, number six of the six by sixes, and last but not least, the floral card making kit. So, I mean, I think 
the £60. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, how far out would the camera have to go? Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you can't really see how high the pile is. Um, it's high. There is a lot of stuff there. So I'm really excited to get started using some of this. And I mean, I say that I am, and I am, but there's still like stuff that I haven't used that I've had for quite a while. Um, I do eventually get around to using it. It's just, you know what it's like when you're a crafter. <laughs> you just, you have to have it um, and you buy it. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to get used for quite some time. It kind of uh, becomes, it's, it's a lot about the collecting of the items as well as the using them and opening them and seeing how all the pretties. Um, but I do know pretty, actually to be fair, like especially like the, the 600 piece one, I need to make those cards for my dad. So um, this will be a really good way to make some quick and easy cards. And, you know, this is going to be great for happy mail if I want to, you know, I mean, these sticker packs have got how many sheets in? Loads. There's a, so there's what, 100 pieces? 4, 8, 12, 35, 56, 70. So there's five sheets in each of those. So, you know, and you've got palms, you've got toppers. I mean, even the 6x6 paper pads. Um, so there's loads of ways you could share the love with this as well. Um, there's no way I'm going to use all this myself. So, happy mail, um, swaps, all sorts of things. Um, I will be utilising and again with the baby one I'm not sure um, what I'll do with that um, but pretty much everything else other than the baby stuff um, I'll be able to make great use of I mean even the baby stuff I mean just, I love those little pom-poms and there's going to be there's yeah little enamel dots in there as well um, so there's still things in there that I want <laughs> so I mean maybe I could just not use the sentiment center uh, sorry the sentiment type ones like welcome little one maybe i could cover that with something i don't know i'll have a thing um yeah and that's it really um i'll speak to you all again soon um and yeah okay bye guys <laughs>